What's going on guys, it's STG. So I thought I'd show you what I picked up this weekend. But first, as you guys may or may not have seen, I spent a whole lot of money on the drop. So I timed it just right guys. I purchased silver, gold, and platinum at a low point during the drop. So I timed it really well. And I got some amazing deals. I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to share some of those deals or steals with you guys and offer it up to you. I hope to do a collaboration with Emerald Coast Stacker in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And let me get into it. Let me show you what I picked up. So I decided to go to my flea market this Saturday. I saw my guy online had listed a few pieces of silk, vintage silver and I said let me check it out see what he got the weather is finally nice it's been kind of nasty here the past few weeks so I haven't been there in a while so I headed over there and some elderly gentleman was actually trying to sell him some walking liberties for about 11 bucks a piece they weren't in the best condition and they were all common dates gave me a crack at it he said you should talk to him and I looked at him said you know it's a it's a fair price but I wasn't really interested I was interested in what my guy had and also later that day going into Chinatown to see what my LCS and watch guy had so I passed on that and I started talking with my uh, guy at the flea market and he's like, oh, I didn't even, I didn't even take him out yet. So he had, he took out of his backpack, he had a whole little uh, Ziploc bag full of silver guys. And he showed me a first couple things. And this caught my eye and I said, I gotta have this. So check it out. It is a Silverado or a Prospector. So this is the OG Prospector, 1973 guys. It's over 50 years old. I don't know of an older prospector around out there. If you guys know, please let me know. So this is from the World Mint Corporation. Three nines fine silver. Thought it was in pretty good condition. And he gave me this for a really great deal. I said to myself, this would be something good I could auction off with Emerald, maybe. So maybe you'll see this in the near future and an auction near you. <laughs> so he also had some ASEs and he had some really good deals on it. I'm not gonna say exactly how much I, pur I purchased them for, but they were under $35. And I thought that was a really good deal for an older date, Gem BU ASE. I got 1989 and I also got 1991. He had a few more, but they weren't in as good a condition. They were toned up, and uh, these are just the two nicest ones he had. So that was a really awesome, awesome, awesome scores. I normally don't buy ASCs, but when I see them in that condition for under 35 bucks uh, in this market, I, I think that was a good deal. He also had a bar I saw online I was hoping to get that I've been wanting for a while. So check it out, guys. Banco Minero del Peru, so that's Mining Bank of Peru. One ounce silver. I believe this bar was from 1984. And this is a bar that I've wanted for a while now. I know someone in the community a while back reached out to me and asked me if I had one, and I didn't. They also wanted one, uh, but this one's going into my stack. And I actually paid $40 for this which I thought was a pretty good deal since I think on eBay they're going for at least 50. So another little vintage bar I added to my stack. Been adding a lot of vintage lately to my stack that I've been wanting. So he actually showed me one last thing. He saved the best, what I thought was the best deal for last. So check it out guys. Got this beautiful, what I think is a BU Morgan, second year Morgan, 1879 S. Really nice condition, guys. I'm not sure, he must have gotten this at melt or close to it, 
because he only charged me 40 bucks for this as well. Beautiful. If it, if it grades at least like a 62, 63, I think I'll probably have more than easily doubled my money. Just a beautiful coin, guys. Really nice. I'm going to be doing a video soon. I have a lot of Morgans and Pre-33 I'm going to be sending to NGC, so stay tuned for that. I hope to get that out soon. I've had it for a while. Hope to get it in before the holiday rush. And that was just a beautiful coin and a really great deal. So later in the day, I decided to head down to Chinatown to my watch guy. Unfortunately, the little mall where he is is closed, probably for the summer holiday. And he's he wasn't there. I was a little disappointed. However, my LCS was opened and I went in and he didn't really have much silver. I actually did pick up one silver coin. I don't, I gotta, I gotta try to find it. So I'll be back in a minute. Welcome back guys. I was able to find the coin that I picked up. So this was the silver coin I got guys. And it is a 1985 Prospector. Really nice. Has a bit of toning on the back thinking about dipping this but I don't know if I'm gonna offer this up to the community maybe I'll just leave it as is really nice and yeah like I said uh, he, he basically sold 5,000 ounces of silver so he's a little short on silver he sold it for a great price he sold it for 31 and he made he made some good money on that I wanted to get a tube of constitutional but he barely had 20 half silver half dollars left and I really wanted like Walking Liberties or Benji's. He really didn't have enough. So I saw he had some uh, proof 110th ounce AGEs. Wasn't really into that. And he had some, uh, he had a pre-33 gold coin and it wasn't in the best condition. And he's like, I got some more. Turns around opens up his vault and he pulls out a binder and in the binder he has gold coins so he flips open to the page and he shows me about 10 pre-33 gold coins guys he had a couple of one dollar uh, coins that unfortunately were ex jewelry including the rare type 2 Indian which I almost bought even it, even though I could tell it was ex jewelry. He had about six or seven uh, 250 Indians. He had one five hour Liberty and the five hour Indian. So I basically looked through the five hour uh, and the two hour Indians and a two and a half hour Indians. I'm sorry and I decided to get one. So check it out guys. I got this beautiful 1929. If you could see it, oh that's perfect. That's beautiful, look at that. Look at the luster on that coin. That is just gorgeous. Yeah, this is a good display to keep it in because I had it, I filmed this before and in the plastic and without the plastic but here you could actually see it really well. So this I believe is in low, I don't know why it's not, there we go. This I believe is in low BU condition. Really a beautiful coin. So I picked out what I thought was the best one. This is 1929. These coins were made from 1908 until 1929. And I just thought that this is a beautiful condition according to PCGS, the survival estimate for MS60 and above is 49,000 for this coin. So fairly common for, for this series and it's just a beautiful coin. I'm probably going to go back this weekend to try to get at least one or two more. So if anyone is interested in a trade, please let me know. He gave me a really great deal, guys. This was the original flip that it came in. And no, I did not pay anywhere near that price. He basically gets it from other dealers who 
purchased them for just under melt and he basically pays a little bit above melt so he was able to give me a really good deal I have a really good relationship with him and um, it's just a beautiful coin so yeah so if anyone's interested who is in the community and I know you well please reach out to me I could try to get you one in mint state condition BU condition um, or AU condition and we could do a trade we could trade for cash we could trade for silver gold I'm open so let me know and we could see if we could work something out so that's pretty much it guys I did place an order for lots of bullion during the drop as I mentioned so in the next couple weeks I'm expecting to get in a lot of stuff so stay tuned for that I'm really excited to show you what I picked up during the drops uh, also I'm gonna be submitting coins to NGC so I'm gonna be doing a video in the near future for that so stay tuned for that and that's pretty much it for now please like subscribe and as always stack that gold.